This is Info Live TV headline news, May 23rd. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. Police investigators are scheduled to arrive at Prime Minister Ahud Omer's Jerusalem residence at 10 a.m. on Friday for yet another questioning in connection with the bribery probe currently underway against the PM. Investigators are expected to confront the Prime Minister with new evidence accumulated during the recent interrogations of Omer's close associate Uri Messer and businessman Moshe Talansky. According to the official sources, the new evidence incriminates Olmert, who is expected to face at least one more interrogation following Friday's questioning session. An IDF soldier was moderately wounded on Friday morning by an anti-tank rocket fired at the vehicle he was traveling in during an operation in southern Gaza. The soldier was taken to Soroka Hospital in Beersheba for treatment. On Thursday, Israel Defense Forces soldiers operating in the northern Gaza Strip uncovered a rocket launcher and an anti-tank missile in a schoolyard in the Gaza City neighborhood of Sajaye. A special Knesset committee is currently preparing a bill that would require holding a referendum or elections before ceding any territory under Israeli sovereignty, including the Golan Heights. While a majority of MKs support the bill, the cabinet opposes it. Experts told the committee that the cost of a referendum would be about 20 million shekels, not including any financing for the party's campaign for or against it. An existing law already mandates a referendum before ceding any territory under Israeli sovereignty, but also states that this requirement will not apply until a basic law detailing the procedures for holding a referendum is passed. After rejecting Israel's conditions for a ceasefire, Hamas officials on Thursday expressed disappointment over Egypt's failure to endorse their stance. Instead of putting pressure on Israel to accept the truce, the Egyptians are pushing us to accept Israeli conditions, a top Hamas official in the Gaza Strip said. The Hamas delegation that held talks in Cairo this week with Egyptian General Intelligence Chief Omar Suleiman left Egypt on Thursday after failing to reach an agreement on the terms of the truth proposal. Democratic presidential candidate Barack Obama on Thursday promised an unshakable commitment to Israel if he is elected. Obama also explained the roots of his unusual name, listed some of his Jewish friends, and voiced support for Israel Hello, on everybody. Thursday during a synagogue visit Admiral designed to shore up Jewish support for his U.S. presidential bid. General. Obama, an Illinois senator and the frontrunner for his party's White House nomination, addressed concerns about his views on Israel, his religion, and his race during a nearly two-hour session at a synagogue in Florida. Uh, the dollar is continuing its free fall, sinking 0.7 percent on Thursday and 2.5 percent for the week to a representative rate of 3.338 shekels to the dollar. That's an 11-year low for the U.S. currency against the lowly shekel. Trade took place on Thursday in the shadow of rising petroleum prices, which climbed to $135 a barrel. The euro rate was set at 5.25 shekels per euro for a decline of 0.7% over Wednesday's representative rate. In world markets, the dollar remains steady at 1.579 to the euro. Thank you for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.